Hey guys, Shark Gaming here, back with another player review. And the player in focus for today is Alessandro Bostani. This is a player who I recently packed in the Inter Milan club selection. And I must admit that at first I was not enticed by the player and was originally planning to convert him into a trainer. Because I didn't really feel that he'd be of much value to my side or much use because I have defenders such as Varane, Van Dijk, Koulibaly, etc. But as you guys will see, he has a different playing style, which is the destroyer playing style. A destroyer is someone who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing. This is good because he usually acts as the last defender and makes the clutch tackles that helps you to get the ball off of the opponent right before the score. And with the level of players that we see every single time, you'd appreciate a player that tackles automatically. As you can see here, his bronze card maxes at 88 and the featured card max is at 95. His stats have impressively increased, but one similarity is that his only trait is heading. That's part of the reason why I wasn't really interested in him to begin with, but at least I know he's not supposed to lose any area of duels, whether it's in set piece or defending. So when I play players that like to use attack wide, or I identify that some manager that likes to attack wide, I feel confident in knowing that once Bastoni or my Varan van dyck any ramos anybody with great heading should comfortably win that duel the thing is that bastani can be used to start counter attacks because after that aerial duel is won it's usually an accurate pass to a teammate and that usually starts up the counter attack and that enables you to because i mostly use our counter attacking manager so he actually fits in well but from what I've like basically understood is that he doesn't really have the interceptions down to a T. And it's understandable because he's only 20. So he actually lets goals creep in. So that's one of the problems. But I've realized also that his number one weakness is when an opponent stops, turns and shoots. I don't know for what reason, but it always works. And they always get past him. Not that it usually scores, but they get past him and that's a problem. So what I've done is that I've realized that he works best with a build-up play center back. I play him alongside um, Varane because they complement each other and pick up where the other left off or save the other when they make a mistake. For example, Varane would sit higher naturally than Bastoni because Varane is a build-up play player. So he tends to want to string passes while Boston is a destroyer. So he's going to stay back and be the last man. And if Boston went forward, you'd immediately see Varane falling back. So you can see that they're working well together. And both of them are good defensively. Both of them are good in winning aerial duels. So that's not really a problem. I've actually found him to be very effective against iconic moment players. As you can see here. When Varane goes forward, Bastoni actually goes and fall back to cover just in case the striker passes him so that he'd be the last defender in that case. I know that a lot of you guys wouldn't really prefer using him over the obvious choice of Koulibaly as a destroyer. But if you actually got him in the pack and you don't have any defenders, try him out. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'm out.